uh, you will have more energy and you will have a lot of fun, a lot more going for you and be able to push through the hours and the charters where other people are starting to, to fall off. getting everybody into a more, more healthy lifestyle on board for sure. That's exciting. So if you are in Antibes or if you're in Nice, then check out Crew Pilates on Facebook. Um, so we'll just get straight into the question. Cool. Okay, so a lot of people ask what the difference is between Pilates and yoga. So can you kind of... So. Yeah, I, um, I get asked that a lot. As far as I understand, it's a much older discipline. I think yoga is a few thousand years old. Um, and uh, it's definitely more of a... Uh, a lifestyle and for me Pilates uh, is definitely more of a workout uh, we're not too interested in the meditative side or um, any of that it is still very much a mind-body connection um, and Joseph Pilates who, who invented the art form or the exercise form he, uh, he based a lot of the exercises on his learnings from yoga but uh, he did a lot of other sports as well he was a big diver uh, he used to do boxing he was a gymnast um, and he found ways to cure himself as a child. He was, uh, he was born with asthma and uh, rheumatic fever and a number of other things. Um, and he, by the time he was 18, he was a champion uh, anatomist. So, yeah. So it's uh, really exciting. He went to the war and uh, trained soldiers in the war. And then he ended up uh, teaching ballerinas in New York. Oh, wow. so that's uh, a little bit of a, a different journey, but I would say Pilates is, is more of a workout. Okay, great. It's core. Core and bath. Um, and uh, I mean, obviously, the difference as well is that you can do Pilates on, uh, on machines, so, uh, which, um, which is a whole different experience. So with Pilates, we've got the mat and we have the, the apparatus. Okay, great. Um, how did you get started? I, um, I started training with Pilates way before I came on board, actually, um, and uh, I just was recovering from two, uh, two serious knee operations from the competitive sport, and I was looking for something that was a lot more um, safe and kind on my body, but that would still allow me to, uh, to be strong and, and strengthen up in, in comparison to my cardio training, so I found Pilates. Why do you think Pilates is such a great exercise for are um, always very limited for time, for spare time, especially when they're on charter. And uh, it's something that I really, really encourage my yacht crew to do even while they are on charter. Um, because you don't need a lot of time to do it. You can be on the mat for 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening. Um, rather than going down on your break and having a sleep, it's always nice to just get 20 minutes uh, into your body. So you don't need a lot of time to do it. Um, and the other beautiful thing, of course, is you don't need a lot of space. So, uh, so especially on summer days, if you don't have any guests on board, it's really nice just to whack your mat down on the on the deck. And what better place to train and yeah. um, and be in? And uh, yeah, or otherwise, if you're on charter, there's always enough space in your, in your cabin. You can just put a mat down between your bunks, and um, and it's just an unbelievable way to uh, to stay strong when you're limited. Pilates mats they're a little bit thicker but if you only have yoga mats on board that's more than enough it's really you don't need a lot to get started. Great. And do you have any tips that you can improve on how to stay motivated because it can be tough and you're tired um, and you just don't feel like working out. How can you stay motivated to keep up with Pilates routine? I found for myself when I was working on board it's actually what made me start with Pilates was that um, my body took so much strain. Um, I was on deck in my first two summers, so a lot of um, heavy 
lifting and carrying, bringing on provisions, uh, washdowns. Um, and then when I moved on to the interior, it was as physical. If you spend a day vacuuming or making beds even, you're constantly in bad positions for your body. You're long hours on your feet. Um, and the way that I stay motivated was just to remind myself that I needed to look after my body um, because my job certainly wasn't. Yes. Um, and, uh, and that's what you just need to remind yourself, that you, you need to give your body the tools. Um, and if you do things like Pilates and you keep on training, uh, you will have more energy and you will have a lot, um, a lot more going for you and be able to push through the hours and the charters where other people are starting to, to fall off. Um, so it's definitely easy to stay motivated uh, if you have the right attitude and, um, and if you get other people involved with you, it's really yes. exciting. So, yeah, and thanks to, to blogs like yours as well, Savvy Stewardess, we get, uh, we get given so many tools online to stay healthy on board and, um, and just, and just keep, keep up a healthy lifestyle. Yes, absolutely. Getting other people involved, getting other crew involved, and people can hold you accountable. It's just much more fun. Absolutely. Um, but even if you are doing it on your own, just, yeah, just having things up in your cabin and maybe having some Pilates um, inspiration or having your goals and your tips up in your cabin somewhere where you can see them so that you just stay reminded keep up with it so. and then obviously go to crew pilates if you're in on team and nice so thanks ma'am thank you so much bye everyone